Hi everybody, that is Franchise Kingdom, and we are here for Food Wars Third Plate or Third Season, Episode Nine. Uh, last time we had a shokugeki between the main character Soma against the Nine Seed of the Elite Ten Council, Aizen, and Soma wins, of course. My opinion about the whole Shokugeki was that they could have done better. I do think Soma would win anyway if the problem was not that. Yeah, I think I just explained too much in the, in the past episode what it is. <sighs> I don't know. I feel that some uh, still need to lose in a way that he lost something important and of course he's not gonna be expelled but it could be I don't know he lost to Aizen or even to Tsukasa and then um, instead of he be expelled all the Polar Star students are expelled and then um, he then decide to do okay let's do another Shogu Geek to, to, to redo this but the Polar Star students decide that no no uh, we got to do this like and then themselves um, go against to uh, make a Shogu Geek even they are not student like it's complex um, but I do think this would um, show way more of the characters if the show really wants to um, show them as important characters in the future seasons or even in some of them, in some of cases there are characters that we know that are not gonna go back like for example Big Gumi would go back easily um, Satoshi of course is, is a member of Litten right now um, Shum, of course, but like these two, two guys that I never remember the name, for example, they could just decide not go back, and that could be good for them as well. I don't know if the show would ever do something like that, like that but I still need to see not necessarily some uh, lose because that happened already but some uh, seem really defeat as something like I don't know how to explain that uh, anyway let's just go through the episode let's see what's gonna happen my prediction is that because of the Shogugeki because someone win uh, in in a way that even the judges were by or are we are paid for probably what gonna happen is that uh, now a lot of them or at least the most powerful of them gonna decide to make Shogeki against Central the question is they still have to accept so it's still gonna work um, I assume that some of them maybe but not all I don't know uh, I just want to see more of these like there are members of the lead and we still did not know much so yeah I already talked too much so let's go now okay they are attacking the dormitory surprising Isoma you know that okay So Aizen was not serious, huh? I still think though he would win. <laughs> okay, so this conversation was before. See? And that's why Ishiki is best as Bando. Like ever. And Rindo is best wife. Megumi. 
<laughs> Yuki as well, so precious, both of them. <laughs> May the ball source celebration, okay. Hunting their survivors. I really wonder if Takumi gonna be wonder if Takumi and even Isami but especially Takumi gonna go back to be important characters <laughs> it's strange that Irina's father did not decide <laughs> yeah, that, that would never happen. Um, Terina's father did not decide to change the lieutenant that did not vote uh, a favor. Like, I never remember which one did not vote. Oh, they are now agreed. Okay. Yeah, us against everyone and nobody gonna win. <laughs> That's an idea. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, they don't know about that. For <laughs> Erina. Uh, uh, Isako. What kind of question? Oh, okay. Uh, Edina, Edina was raised to be like a princess or something. <laughs> uh, I mean, also let's let's be real. Sh uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, this too. Um, Shiki is not naked. He's using an apron. And oh. Okay, I, I spoke to some. Yep. I mean, it happened uh, way less fast, which I expected. True. Ah, of course. Oh, Rindo. <laughs> I mean, Rindo just want to make to see every everything go and destroyed. Like it's it's fun for her. She's like completely neutral. This goes. This girl is scary. Like really. <laughs> She's just sitting on the floor. <laughs> and. Okay, so it looks like everyone is gonna hunt the survivors. So. Elite and reserves. Megumi with them, not gonna stop them. Let's be real. Soma and Takumi together are probably gonna both challenge someone. And Megumi just gonna. Oh no! Oh, Mamo. Well, against characters that are uh, random characters, of course they're gonna win. Okay. Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> really, she does that every time. Oh, poor bear. With Azen is that he's too focused with Yukihira. 
Oh, these are the reserves. Okay, so they are what, second or third, maybe? I like his tattoo. <laughs> yep, of course they would win again against random characters. Oh, they are forcing to choose. Yep, I knew it, this would happen. Amazing. Rigor. <sighs> and was not able to get a Litan, so... I have my doubts about that. Okay. Okay, um, they are all second years, I was right. As <sighs> against someone. Oh, okay. <laughs> you apparently? What the fuck? <sighs> Oh, so is uh, Kurokiba against him? Wait, it is him or it is her? Oh, okay. What's up with her hair? I mean... <laughs> so, that, uh, so that was... Food Wars Episode 9 of the third season. Wow. Um, so we get to know a lot of new characters, which it seems are reserves for the Elite N. I want to know more about that. There is a lot about. There is a lot of things about. That's a lot of things about. Okay, that's not weird. Uh, delete them that we don't know. Like now they have reserves. They always had that. Um. So, let's begin with Nakiri. Um. The father of Irina. Forgot his name. He expel Ishiki, Kuga, and I forgot the name of the other one. Which makes sense. Like Ishiki even say that took he was really faster than he expected, but I was expecting that that would happen like way faster. Think with me. Irina's father became the headmaster of the school because a little majority vote in his favor. If you're if you're elected into any kind of system and someone decides to not vote in your favor, what would you do? In theory, like get rid of these people, like this is normal to do. I'm not saying that it is right to do. I'm saying that it is normal to do, and especially when talking about someone that we clearly don't like um, opposition, <laughs> like um, don't like different kinds of opinion, like Edina's father. And of all, I know that in technically. The six just vote with themselves and don't tell the other four. But of course they did that because they knew that they would not vote. They would not vote in favor, and it doesn't matter anyway because they have majority and all. Know. 
Ishiki is one, Kuga is one, Irin is one, and I forgot the name of the other one. Of course, Irina, you you not expel. She is your daughter, and you believe that you can manipulate her. I don't know why I use that. It, you believe that you can manipulate her. Um, so, yeah, expel all of the others. So, yeah, I, I think it took a sweet time to do that. It would be one of the first things that I would do. I would not expect so much thing happen. Um, we still do not see Kuga since the festival. I, we don't know what he thinks about that because like Ishiki, okay Edina obviously we learned about his her backstory but what Kuga thinks about that apparently the older Ali Tan think or know for sure that he would not agree with that so it's interesting to learn why and of course the other one that I don't remember the name even more because I don't know to even remember his name. So yeah, I have noted here in some place, but I don't want to just like keep looking when I'm reacting. Um, so yeah. Also, uh, in regard of this team, like Ishik was able to alone make a lot. Which, in a way, it could be the same thing of, I don't know, he could still, like, one of them could have so much power. It's crazy to think that. I would say, imagine if one like that would, would not be on in our side, right? But then again, like, six of them already were not in our side. And that was what made Edina's father the headmaster, so... Um, then we have <laughs> we have Alice, like, that she just decided that yeah, I don't care about this club that we, that I even took and I just like to be called Chef yeah, Chef, Chef Alice Chef Alice, that's good. Uh, then about Rio get pissed off and she accepts the challenge with Rio participating in her place, of course. Mm. And one more. Well, we have Irina having a crisis of identity. Well, crisis of identity? That's not the forget what I said, uh, having um, to assist, assist, wait, again, not, uh, sorry, today is really not a good day for me, um, Irina having to watch naked Ishiki together with Sako, oh, they are already traumatized for the rest of their lives. Um, Edina with the thing about um, how how she was raised and not knowing basic stuff that normal people would have to know. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a minor thing, and I think that of course when she got back to her normal life, um, she would not like. She she will still have people to do things for her. So, but it, it is interesting always to see things like that, even if it's it's something normal and to see in fiction. Um, one more. Yeah, I I I'm interesting in, intrigued about these new members. Uh, we have one that gonna face Ryu in the next episode, I assume. And we have a really tall guy. And a completely gloomy... gloomy? That's the word? Dark in the background girl. And a really pink girl. 
I, I know that I'm describing the color of their outfit, but you know, like they also describe their personality quite well. The pink girl, the pink outfit girl. <laughs> Um, is always like talking, energetic, and always. And the dark outfit girl is just in the background. And she kind of remembers someone from um, Avatar: The Legend of Korra. I'm not gonna say the name, of course. If you watch, you know who I'm talking about, I guess. Um, but yeah, my guess is about the Shukiki is that Ryo gonna win and I'm just saying that because well one they using fish and two I like Ryo <laughs> no serious um so the question is talking about a perspective that we have watching if this character is gonna be important in the future and we're gonna really see that besides this arc or we have to know this, if they are characters from just this arc, or are we gonna see them more after? If they are just for this arc, they are like the villains of this episode and whatever, they probably gonna got all defeated. If we're gonna see them again, I have to say that at one good point is if Rio had to lose doing fish against that guy. Technically, would it not be the first time because in our two elections, Rio kinda did lose to both Akira and Sama. So it would not be a shock if he lose. I just don't think Maybe you can probably wrong. I just don't think Rio gonna lose. I don't. I looked. I look at ten, and I don't think they are characters that we're gonna see then much later on. The one that is more unique. The two that are more unique are pink, call off a uh, pink outfit girl, and the one that is facing off Rio. But I don't think they're that good um, I may be wrong I'm just guessing I don't know even what he is good of making um, what his speciality so maybe it's fish as well I don't know so I gonna watch the next episode and see you guys in the next